in the most incredible surgical passing. Xavi forward. I tackled through the back, Fabregas, Marcelo, and that's going to be the end of the day for the Brazilian. An awful way for him to end it, and this is what Real Madrid are getting their reputation about. For all of the good that Mourinho is putting into them, there's this nasty edge, and it's on Fabregas, and it's nasty as a rat bait from the back by Marcelo. It's wicked, it's malicious, it's verging on criminal and it's all gone off Barcelona right. standing up for their fallen newcomer who's still down on the ground well he'll be up in a while and he'll be hushed in the cup so they don't care but this is an unfortunate statement that is tarnishing the great color of the royal whites phil and even their fans don't like to see this it's all right to be aggressive and all right to have that edge to try to knock a Barcelona team off. And I welcome an aggressive approach to anything in football. But when it's reduced to this, it gives the game a bad name and it gives the Classico a bad name. And we've seen it the last four classics that this has come out and spilled over the top. And the vitriol will just keep getting continued. And there's one man to blame for it, Phil and it's Marcelo. Some might point the finger at the bench. The mate, and you, that's a fair statement because it's ingrained into them that maybe the only way to knock this botanical footballing outfit that is Barcelona FC is to really stick your finger in their eye. And I think even Cristiano Ronaldo looks a little embarrassed about this. Ozil appeared to have been slapped. And bigger than this, Phil, Real Madrid. They are a wonderful, great institution. And oh, if you know, the Stefano will be looking on in his rocking chair and shaking his head because it's not the way Real Madrid should be playing. Take a look at it again. He turns and look at that. That, as I said, is beyond a nasty rat bait. Fabregas, beautiful control, it's a scissor. It could be the cruciate ligaments that have gone. I mean, it's one of those that a red card is really not enough. And how they can defend that is amazing. Well, it'll be interesting. Jose Mourinho doesn't talk to the press anymore. It'll be the former Rapid now, Real Madrid number one. See that? Uh, yeah, that's out of order in itself. Mourinho twisting the face of Villanova, the great Barcelona assistant coach, and that will be looked at by the Spanish Federation as well. That might be four or five games. And Aitor Carranca, the man who will be facing the press, what else can he say? Cesc Fabregas, it had been.